you were 50-50 on coming back. And I was wondering um, what changed in your mind for you to be able to come here and how will you be able to kind of use your platform? What message do you want to get across that, that won't distract from the protest, which was something that you had worried about? Um, we spoke as a group, we spoke as a team, and we decided that our decision was going to be, um, it was going to be everybody or nobody. Um, and so once we sat down, we had a conversation, we decided to take a vote, um, and we just had more things in common, and we just decided that we were going to come as a group. And so I'm part of the group. I have a lot of thoughts and, and ideas of, of the things that I feel um, strongly about personally, but I represent a group, I represent an organization, and so um, ultimately that led to my decision. Thank you, Om. Uh, next, we have BT. BT, you there? I can unmute this time. What's up, Lou? That was good. Hey, um, I'm just wondering, I, I saw something you had in your room about your music and Pat's talking about t-shirts. Have you thought about how you can make sure you keep yourself occupied mentally going forward, knowing you guys could be there until maybe... Yeah, it's just, I'm going to take it one day at a time, you know, just trying to figure out how I'm going to spend my time over the course of, you know, three three months, three and a half months, whatever the, the amount of time that we'll be here, I drive myself crazy. And so um, as far as my studio setup go, uh, I'm pushing the deadline. I had a project that was, was due out July 4th that we were going to put out. Um, obviously, the timing wasn't right. We didn't feel right about putting it out. I didn't think it was the time to celebrate music at that time. Um, so I'm just going to continue to record and we'll put it out whenever we put it out. Thanks, BT. Uh, Nick Hamilton. Nick, you there? Yes, I am, man. What's up, Lou? How you doing, man? What's good, bro? Uh, you talked about earlier about uh, some of the things you want to see as far as making sure your voice was heard on the platform that you've been given. What are some of the things that you want to see uh, go on while you guys are playing basketball? Um, what are some of the issues that you want to make sure that stand out that, that America knows about? Um, just progression. You know, progression. Obviously, we have a lot of different races and backgrounds, and um, the NBA is one of the more diverse leagues as far as guys from overseas, white players, black players, um, brown players. Um, so I would like to just see progression. I would like the conversation to continue to move forward, and we make positive steps in trying to create an environment where um, it's equality for all races. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Miriam, you, you there, Miriam? Hi, Lou. Good to, good to see you, man. Um, hey, so Doc was saying that you as a team have lots of discussions kind of about social issues and, and some of this important, important matters going on, um, but that you kind of have to compartmentalize it. H how hard is that to do? And, and kind of like, what's your process for doing that? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a challenge. I think we're up for it. You know, obviously we're here in Orlando. Um, this is day two for us outside of quarantine. Um, you know, so at this point, we have to focus on basketball. We got to focus on getting ourselves in shape, um, understanding the environment that we're in, getting used to the environment, and trying to compete at a high level. You know, and so it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a difficult balance. And um, I think we have the guys that are up for the task. And so, um, you know, these last few days, I've been focused on just getting acclimated with Orlando and the bubble, and getting back with my teammates, and and being focused on the on the Clippers organization. And once I realize. Um, that everything is okay, I can do this, and then I'll start focusing on other issues that I want to involve in. Thanks, Miriam. Uh, next up, we have Farbad. Farbad, are you there? I'm here. Hey, hey, hey Lou, uh, you were one of the first people to say that, you know, you wanted to see Black Lives Matter on the court. You wanted to see jerseys, kind of have statements. And they did both of those things in the NBA. How, how happy were you to see your voice get heard in that way? Yeah, that's progression. Um, I'm, I'm happy to, to know that, you know, I, I work for, I work for a, a company that's, that's, that stands alongside of, of, of the minorities that's in this country and, and want to make a bold statement like that. You know, obviously they have a lot of sponsors and, and, and everything as far as, um, you know, sponsorship goes, and some, some people may not feel that way, but I thought it was important for the NBA to listen to the players, listen to our voices, um, and put the things in, in motion that we felt strongly about and stand next to us um, with those issues. So I was, I was really happy about that. Thanks, Farbad. Uh, next up, Charlie, Charlie Widows. Lou, how's it going, man? Um, I think a lot of people from the outside are kind of curious what the experience is like. Um, 
know, it's funny you know, some, some people may not feel that way, but I thought it was important. Oh, sorry, I got some audio messed up. Uh, so, I guess, could you walk us through what the last few days have been like from the travel to the quarantine and then now that you're back together, what's the mindset of the team? So I was, I was really happy about that. Um, the process is just, it's, um, it's been unique. I will say it's been unique. Um, we're getting tested every day. Um, you know, you, you have to wear your mask everywhere um, besides in the gym. And so uh, it's just been a unique experience. You know, it's like walking around if you're on vacation with your family in a resort and it's just basketball players everywhere. I, that's what it feels like. Um, that's what it looked like. And then you get to play basketball at the same time. And so um, it's going to be adjustment. It's going to be fun. Um, everybody is kind of characterizing it as a, as a, um, as a, a really big AAU tournament. So we're looking forward to it. <laughs>